Hi, this is Claire Sundo. If Fairy Godmother knit something for Cinderella, what do you think she would knit? I found this yarn that reminded me of Cinderella because of the color and the shine. The yarn is made out of bamboo, so I wanted to knit something I can wear during the summer. And guess what? Cinderella's dress has short sleeves, so this was a perfect opportunity. So I began designing a knitted shirt inspired by her dress. I think the most iconic part of her dress is the color, which we have from the yarn. Then, I think the puffy sleeves are really a key point too. So I thought about how I can knit a shirt with puffy sleeves or puffy shoulders. For the knit I designed, I want to finish the neckline with an eye cord instead of rib stitches to give a similar clean neckline Cinderella's dress has. Well then, let's get started! I first took measurements from a shirt that I really like how it fits me. Then I used a gauge to calculate how many stitches I need to start with. I'm going to knit the back first from the top up to the armpit part. For me, when I measured the shirt I really liked, the shoulder to shoulder length was 32 centimeters. so when I calculated the number of stitches, Using my gauge, I needed to start with 76 stitches. I simply knitted the stockinette stitches until I reached about 10 centimeters in length. Afterwards, I increased at the ends of the rows, I did knit stitches. To create the neckline, I divided the front part into two. I picked up 19 stitches on the left side, left when I'm wearing it, and knit stockinette stitches. I increased at the end of the row on the neckline side. Every row I did knit stitches. Once I increased up to 27 stitches, I cut the yarn and picked up 19 stitches on the right side and knit the same way. Then I connected the two sides adding 22 stitches in the middle. If you'd like me to create a video explaining this in more detail including how I calculated the gauge and how many stitches to knit, uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to make a tutorial video with more details walking you through every step. After connecting the two front pieces, I knit stockinette stitches and then increased at the ends of the row just like I did for the back. This is what the piece looks like when I'm done with the increases. Now I began knitting in the round, connecting the front and back pieces. This creates the armhole for the sleeves. Now that the pieces are connected, I can really try it on as I knit to see how it fits me. It's really easy from here, I just knit in the round until it reaches the length I like. For the ribbing, I changed the needle size from 4.5 to 4mm and I continued the ribbing until it reached the length I wanted. Up to this point, I used two skeins of yarn and had that much left. It is now time for puffy sleeves! At first, I doubled the number of stitches all around the sleeves, so it came out like this. Very baggy at the bottom and not pretty. So I had to undo the sleeves. Undoing a project or a part of the project always hurts me, even if it's necessary. I'm so sorry, I forgot to record me knitting the sleeves. Rookie mistake. <laughs> so sorry, but for the second try, instead of doubling the number of stitches, I only increased the stitches at the very top and it turned out so great. As you can see, I really love how this turned out. This is the first time I didn't follow any tutorials or patterns and created something on my own. So thank you so much for watching my process as a beginner trying something new. I'm really enjoying trying new things and challenging myself and I'm glad I could share this experience with you. 
please like and subscribe. If you like more content or tutorials, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. Bye. Ba -ba -da -ba -da.